My name is Ellis Spezia. I'm an 18 year old American electric racing driver. I've been competing and living in Europe for about four years now. So uh, a little far from home from where I grew up in Hoboken, New Jersey, but we're taking a different path with not only my career, but also my uh, adventure into the world of motorsport. So I originally got into racing in general through uh, playing Forza with a pretty much a racing wheel strapped to a desk stool. It was as primitive of a setup as you could get, but after that I went into a rental cart league in a shopping mall, so not quite the highest level of competition, but still you know, competitive. Everyone there was really, really good around that track, and I learned all the fundamentals of motorsport. And after that, we decided to take the complete opposite route instead of buying our own combustion cart and just going in club racing to pretty much pack up our life in the middle of COVID and lockdown to go race electric go-karts in Europe for three months. So unique adventure for sure for me and the family, but four years later, we're still here. Even though we got our butt kicked in that first season, uh, we've definitely improved a lot. And now I'm super excited to be driving full-size race cars. There's definitely a lot more failure than success in a motorsport career. So definitely uh, over the course of a weekend, just taking things as they come. It's pretty hard in the first you know, few years of your career, you just wanna succeed at everything, but that's not how you learn. So just accepting that sometimes things are gonna go wrong, but it also means that uh, when luck is on your side, it makes it that much better. So I'd say the most standout a story for me of making the most of what could have been pretty much a catastrophic failure for uh, that weekend and that event was I was driving a Ford Fiesta. So those cars are, you know, normal road cars. They're very fragile and it's a normal manual gearbox. And I went to shift in the fourth gear and that was great. But then as soon as I tried to go back in the third, it was, you know, not very happy with me and the shift cable actually snapped. And in a race where it's already a slow-ish car, you know, we're not going super fast like they do in Formula One. Uh, pulling into the pits, I'm sure the team was expecting me to just, you know, unbuckle the belts, uh, say that's it, the car broke. But I hopped on the radio to my engineer on the way back and I said, hey, gearbox is broken. What are the odds we can put this car into fourth gear and get me back out there? And pulled into the pits. It was a slow stop, obviously, because engine's hot, they all had to run to you know, get to the car and do their magic and they slammed it into fourth and there was no getting it out of fourth after that. Pushed me out of the pits so I didn't stall and we went back out there and yes, we got lapped. We were the slowest car on track because we only had one gear, but the couple of points that we were actually able to pick up just from finishing that race actually kept us in the fight and eventually let me take third overall in the championship. So. Definitely in the moment, it would have been a very easy decision to just retire the car and call it a day. But between me and the team making the decision of pretty much saying, screw it, we're gonna finish this thing. Uh, it had a long run impact that none of us really realized in that moment. So even though some things may be a negative, as long as you can make the most of the situation, that's what counts. So for me, there's a lot more than just what I do on track. There's a lot of uh, activism for sustainability. You know, it's not something you get into uh, car racing for to save the planet, but we're using the platform that we've built from motorsport to push a positive message. And whether it's working with university students to teach them to drive go-karts so they can learn about uh, sustainable mobility or, you know, helping develop curriculums for uh, young kids that want to learn more about how electric powertrains work. We really do as much as we can to show the technical side of motorsport, whether that's from the green energy or just, you know, getting your hands dirty, working on a race car. I would say the best piece of racing advice that I've received that applies to, you know, life in general, I would say just do what you can with the things that are in front of you. So for me, whether that's weather conditions or the materials I have at hand on racetrack, that can also mean for, you know, when you're starting young, you obviously have a lot less resources than someone that, you know, maybe is further along or has more connections, but 
just doing the most with what you have is what's important and you'll naturally find growth that way just as long as you stick with it and don't give up.